ready to go, ready to play game yet? Oh, yeah, I wish. Uh, no, man, but, but I do like the energy of the guys, the guys coming out, flying around. And, uh, and I think with uh, all of spring ball, uh, and then we have our POPs where we're able to work with them a little bit without the ball. And then even have them, you know, 30 minutes here and there every two, uh, every two days a week in the summertime. Uh, so I think that most definitely have helped. And uh, to get the guys' confidence up a little bit so they can fly around, know what to do, uh, how to do it, and when to do it. What's the biggest challenge in early in the game? Uh, just, I think, uh, um, guys just being in shape, football shape, because uh, you can run all day uh, with no helmet, no shoulder pads, no pants on, all that stuff. Uh, but being in football shape is totally different just getting out there running. Uh, I think that's one thing. And, and then the next thing, uh, no doubt, is uh, you hadn't played football since uh, February and March, you know. Uh, so just getting back in the groove of things, actually doing it at full speed, high pace, uh, how we practice is a chaotic practice. Uh, so just getting back into the groove of things, I think that's one thing that uh, is a tough thing. Coach Satterfield has said that creating depth is probably the biggest challenge. Yes. In your opinion, what's it, what's it like on the defensive side? Oh, no doubt. Same thing. Uh, I, I think our first group gives us a good chance to, uh, you know, be able to stop some people. Uh, I think our twos, no doubt, uh, is a group that we have to develop, our twos and threes. And uh, uh, we got some depth there with some of the guys that we actually recruited. Uh, that's just now getting here with a, a TJ Hole, a Money Montgomery, uh, a Ty Tyler, those type guys. Uh, that, that most definitely has helped our depth a little bit, and uh, we most definitely look forward to continue to develop those guys so we can you know, get those first-team guys some blows here and there uh, so they're not playing 80 to 90 snaps a game. Coach, Brian, I remember after the spring, you said that 14 guys have changed positions on the defensive side of the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that Scott talked about on uh, Saturday was guys accepting roles. How is yeah. that going? That, that's been really, really key for us. You know, you got some inside guys that have moved outside. Uh, you got some corners that have moved to safety. Uh, and and they're taking that role head on, man. And, and I'm very pleased with them. Uh, and it's not a pouting type deal. Uh, so I think those guys are uh, understanding their role. And we always tell them, hey, find your role, star in your role, uh, and, and do great in it. And, uh, and it's been great so far. From anybody specifically excelled in the position change? Uh, uh, of course, Russ East. You think about a guy like that. that uh, you know, ended up not playing a whole lot toward the end of the year last year. That was a starting corner at one point, and now he's a starting strong safety, and uh, he's doing a, a world, uh, a tremendous job for us for sure. Uh, I mean, you think about uh, a guy like Nick OKK who's plays him inside. He's a now outside guy, accepted his role and doing well. Uh, you know, we got a we signed a guy that was a linebacker. We moved him to D line, and he's accepting it well himself. So. Um, uh, I think our guys understand what we're trying to build here. And uh, it's not about a you, it's about a we. And whatever we got to do to help this team win, we're going to do it. How do you expect out of the card mm -hmm. position? What do you expect out of that position in, in this defensive team? Well, well, it all just depends on who that card is and uh, who you got out there on the field. Uh, whether you can play some man coverage with them or do you have to sub, you know. Uh, so it all just depends on who that guy is. Some guys that just play that position, they may just be a true zone type guy. Uh, some guys play that position may be just a true blitz type guy. Uh, so it, it, it just depends on who it is. But we expect them, if, it, if it's a normal car like we had at Appalachia State, we expect them to do a lot of things in our scheme. Uh, and that's what we have to recruit to. If that's Rajay, mm -hmm. what, what do you expect from him? Or what do you see from him so far? Well, uh, you know, we only had three practices, but in the spring it was new to him. Um, you know, I think with his ability to play, uh, being a DB, you can do some multiple things with him and, uh, you know, bring him, play him in coverage. Uh, so I think with Rajay, you can do a little bit of multiple things with him. Was this, was this versatility one of the reasons you guys go to from DBs? So that's the yes, no doubt. And that position uh, for us in our scheme is a guy that's very flexible, very athletic, that has to make a lot of plays in, in, in space. Uh, with Rajay being a good tackler, uh, you know, our last year, our car position last year at App, uh, he had one, one game, he had 15 tackles, 16 tackles, back-to-back uh, -back games, and, uh, and doing a great job and, you know, blitzing and getting some sacks and stuff like that. Uh, so with his versatility being at, at, at that position, I think that most definitely helped us make the position easier. Would you have so many guys who switch positions? Is there something specific you need to do to help them get, get, get adjusted pretty quickly? Well, I think the reason why we switched them early on so they could get a whole spring uh, as well as a, uh, the rest of the spring after spring ball, and then you got all summer. So that most definitely helped with us going ahead and doing it early as opposed to trying to wait to right now. Is there a guy specifically that just stands up right now in your mind that has just made a lot of huge strides you were expecting? Uh, well, you think about uh, Amani Montgomery who just got here. Uh, he's a guy that's fast and very, very physical. 
Uh, you know, with this being his third practice, he did go through some POPs in the summer. Uh, but he's a guy that uh, you're like, man, you see him flash on film a lot in the first two days, even the day to day, uh, day three. So he's a guy that flashed a lot. Dorian, uh, Dorian Etheridge is a guy, no doubt. I mean, he's the leader of this defense. And uh, he's been practicing his butt off, and he's done a great job with his body over the summer, getting it to where we need to. We want this defense to be have a lot of speed and be able to run and chase things down. And uh, he's done a great job with his body, him and uh, CJ, Avery as well, uh, you know, getting to where they can fly around and play really, really fast for us. When you're at maximum, or when you're at the depth, I don't know that you ever mm -hmm. be at the depth you want, yeah, but right, when you're at right. what you think on the defensive front, mm -hmm. how many guys – Will you have there, and where are you right now? Rotate, rotation wise, our, our deal uh, on game day, you want to at least have uh, at least 10, maybe 11 guys that can rotate up front because those guys, they get beat up a lot through a long season. You got, you know, 12 game season. And uh, with us being a three down front, so now you're able to play a lot of a lot of guys, and that keeps those guys fresh, and especially your starters toward the end of the year and at the end of games. That gives those guys a little bit more energy to be able to fight and push through in fourth quarter really tough games. How do you feel like you are right now? Right now, I think right now we're probably, you know, seven and a half, maybe eight deep right now, and uh, being able to get a couple more guys a little bit more reps in these next scrimmages we have this Saturday and the following Saturday uh, would be really key to us. Uh, I mean, just in certain positions, maybe. Uh, but overall, I think it's a little bit of more mental. Uh, guys kind of not really, really picking it up as well. But talent-wise, not super far off. Uh, in certain positions, you all kind of fall off. And, but, uh, uh, but most positions, they're kind of you know, just a little even. I think a lot of it is mental with the second group. How do you define that in card position? Uh, he's an outside linebacker. You know, he's a, a nickel, you know, whatever you want to call him. Uh, a guy that can bring you can bring him off the edge. You can play him in coverage. You can play him in man. Uh, you can do a lot of things with that guy, and that's that's the beauty of being able to have a three four team. You just the offensive line have no idea which guy you're going to bring. Whether it's two outside, whether it's two inside, could be a safety, could be a corner, and uh, but that guy to the field, man, he he has to be really special for us for sure. How much does the defense they need to know because they do so much? Uh, well, a lot of it's base. You know, it's just you know some of the things that may look different. But the coverage aspect of it, a lot of it is kind of the same. So that's what we try to do is try to keep a lot of different coverage-wise kind of the same. But you may do some things different up front that may look like it's a different defense, but the coverage-wise is kind of the same. Brian, talk Tyler, a guy that they, what can they bring? And can you move that? I mean, yeah. he seems like a guy maybe you can move around a little bit. Yeah, you, you can see right now that uh, that, that guy, uh, Ty, has some ability. And uh, of course, not being here this summer, he's not in shape right now. But you can tell that he has some ability uh, to to give some offensive linemen some problems for sure. He's very, very quick, very explosive. Uh, we're looking for him to get you know some uh, pressure on the quarterback as well as getting the backfield anytime we're reducing him or just playing any type of run fit defense uh, that he'll be able to stop the run as well. But he's a guy that, that, that we look for and that's the type of player that we want here at Louisville. Do you guys see him as end or? Yeah, he's an end, mm -hmm. yes sir.